All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? All my people in Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, all at Staten Island, my homeboy, Brooklyn. Back in the video, this is going to be a, a kind of part two to the Roy Williams video I just did, talking about his legacy and with him announcing his retirement. And I say in the video, I was watching first take, and Stephen A. Smith, you know, he just, he said, bye, Roy Williams. And he got all excited because he wanted, because he mentioned a brother by the name of Lavelle Moulton. And he wants Lavelle Moulton to replace Roy Williams at UNC. And so I did some research on this brother, Lavelle Moulton. This is him right here, his wife and his two kids. Lavelle Moulton is a coach at a historically black college in North Carolina called North Carolina Central University. And right now, they're at the focus of Stephen A. Smith and Chris Paul's little documentary, docuseries, whatever, called Why Not Us. And I found it. I found a couple episodes of it on YouTube, and I watched it. And, you know, he seems to be a very you know, intelligent brother. He has a good heart. seems to have a good heart, and he seems to know his basketball. You know, he he took over as North Carolina Central head coach in 2009. This is then they became a Division One school. Got to the in 2014 they got to the second round, lost. 2017, 18, and 19 got to the first four and lost all four times to UC Davis, Texas Southern, another historically black college in North Dakota State. Okay, so you know, not it, you know, it's uh, you know, it's not that impressive, but you know, it's not bad either, you know. And Stephen A. Smith wants his brother to replace Roy Williams at UNC. Now, as we all know, Stephen A. Smith has been at the vanguard of the HBCU movement, trying to get these trying to get these black athletes, these top black athletes in football and basketball, to go to historically black colleges over "quote unquote" PWIs, predominantly white institutions. Okay, look, is that going to happen? You might get a couple black athletes, top black athletes, to go to you know historically black colleges. You know, you had um. A masterpiece son announced he was going to Tennessee State. You had that African dude say he was going to go to fucking uh, Howard. But, you know, overall, you know, <laughs> these kids, you know, there's no disrespect. These kids, you know, when it comes to football, they're going to go to Alabama. They're going to go to, you know, Michigan, Ohio State, you know, the, Miami. They're going to go to, you know, USC. They're going to choose the big schools because those schools are on ABC. Those schools are on, you know, ESPN. They're on Fox. Everybody in the nation is watching them. No basketball, they're going to go to the Dukes, the Kentuckys, the Michigan States, the Michigans, the UCLA's, the UNC's, you know, that's where they're going to go. Okay. Okay. You know, I mean, you can try, you can try. I and mean, I'm not, I'm not rooting against them, but you know, I'm just telling you the truth. These top black athletes in both sports, football and basketball, they're going to go to the quote unquote PWIs. But a thing that I think, but what Stephen A. said kind of didn't make sense to me because if he's such a good coach, Lavelle Moan, if he's such a good basketball coach, wouldn't you want him to stay at a historically black college so he can try to get all the best, the best basketball talent in North Carolina to go to a historically black college instead of the Dukes and the UNCs or the NC States? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Stephen A. Smith, okay, but Stephen A. was just so happy. Oh, we need black coaches and pro we need black coaches, and a black coach at UNC would be big for the black head coach. So what's more important, Stephen A., black head coaches at, PW, at quote, quote, PWIs or the HBCU movement? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's speak, speaking out both sides of his mouth. You know, it, was, it is what it is. But, you know, I wanted to touch on him. Look, obviously I know he hasn't won a tournament game. I mean, he doesn't have the best talent. So, you know, <laughs> how can you, how can you without the best talent? But, um... It is with uh, Lavelle Moan. Keep doing your thing, brother. Thank you, brother, if you want to take that UNC job, go ahead. But just know this: you be another page in the. You just be another page and a link in the chain. You know UNC basketball. You know going back to Dean Smith. You know Michael Jordan, big game James Worthy, Sam Perkins. You know fucking uh, King of the Jet Smith, Vince Carter, Rasheed Wallace. You know you just be another link in the chain. Dean Smith, uh, Roy Williams. Okay, and once your time passes, they're, they're going to get get rid of you, get somebody else to replace you, and they'll go on and on and on. If you stay at North Carolina Central and by some miracle, by grace of God, you win a Division One National Championship in college basketball, you have your own legacy, and now all the kids want to go to, excuse me, want to go to your school instead of going to the Dukes and the UNCs, okay? But, you know, it's, it's his decision, all right? I'll see you all.